the fundamental principles of genetics, Mendel proposed that there, is a special, there are special factors in organisms which control the expression of traits and their transmission to next generations. These factors were eventually termed genes. Mendel selected pea plant Pisum sativum to carry out a large number of experiments. In his writings, he gave reasons for his selection. He argued that an organism for genetic experiments should have the following features. There should be a number of different traits that can be studied. The organism should have contrasting traits. For example, for the trait of height, there should be only two, ty two different types, phenotype, phenotype and tallness and dwarfness. The organism, if it is a plant, should be self-fertilizing, but cross-fertilization should also be possible. The organism should have a short but fast life cycle. All these features are present in pea plants. Normally, the flowers of pea plants allow self-pollination. Cross-pollination can also be done by transferring the pollen grains from the flower on one plant to the flower on of another plant. Each trait studied in pea plant had two distinct forms. Mendel succeeded in his work not only because he selected the right organ organism for his assignment, but also because he analyzed the result by using the principles of you know, ratios. Mendel's law of segregation. Mendel studied the inheritance of seed shape first. For this purpose, he cross reproduced two plants having one contrasting trait, uh, seed shape. A cross in which only one trait is studied at a time is called monohybrid cross. Mendel crossed a tube breeding round seeded plant with a tube with a tube breeding wrinkled seeded plant. All resulting seeds of the next generation were round. Mendel declared the trait round seeds as dominant while wrinkled seeds are recessive. The following year Mendel planted these seeds and allowed the new plants to self fertilize. As a result, he got 7324 seeds, 5474 round and 18050 wrinkled, 3 round and 1 wrinkled. The parental generation is denoted as P1 generation. The offspring of P1 generation are F1 generation, first filial. The cross in F1 generation produces F2 generation, second filial. The term true breeding means homozygous. Similarly, when true breeding, true breeding the tall plants were cro crossed with the true breeding short plants, all offspring of F1 were tall plants. Tall tallness was dominant trait. When members of F1 generation were self-fertilized, Mendel got the ratio of tall to short plants in F2. Mendel conducted that the traits under study were controlled by separable factors or genes. In each organism, the genes are present in pairs. During gamete formation, the uh, genes of each pair seg segregate, uh, segregate from each other and each gamete receives one gene from the pair. When the gametes of male and female parents unite, and tonight the resulting offspring again gets the genes in pairs. These conclusions were called the law of segregation. Mendel's law of independent assortment. In the next process, Mendel studied the contrasting traits at times. Such crosses are called the hybrid crosses. He performed experiments on two seed traits, shape and color. The trait of brown seeds were controlled by LLDR was dominant over wrinkled controlled by LLDR seeds. Similarly, yellow seed color controlled by Y was dominant over green controlled by Y. Mendel crossed a true breeding plant that had a round yellow seeds RRYY with a true breeding plant having wrinkled green seeds. All seeds in F1 generation were round yellow. When F1 seeds grew into plants, they were self fertilized. This cross produces seed with four phen phenotypes. There were 315 round yellow seeds, 108 round green seeds, 101 wrinkled yellow seeds, and 32 wrinkled green seeds. The ratio of these phenotypes was 9331. Mendel explained that two traits, seed shape and seed color, are not tied with each other. The segregation of R and R LEDs happens independently on the X segregation of Y and Y LEDs. So, from his second experiment, Mendel conducted that different traits are inherited independently of one another. The principle is known as law of independent assortment. It states that the alleles of a gene pair are segregated, get spared, and distributed to gametes independently from the alleles of other gene pairs. Co-dominance and incomplete dominance. When the, after the di discovery of Mendeley's birth, scientists began experiments on the genetics of various organisms. These experiments prove that all the traits in organisms do not follow Mendel's law. For example, it was found that there are many traits which are controlled by more than one pair of genes. Similarly, from many traits, there are 
मोर देन टू एल ई डी इन जीन पेयर को डोमिनेंस एंड इनकम्प्लीट डोमिनेंस आर टू एग्जाम्पल ऑफ सच डेविटेशन फ्राम मेंडिलीज लॉ को डोमिनेंस इज अचुएशन वेयर टू डिफरेंट एल ई डीज ऑफ अ जीन पेयर एक्सप्रेस दम सेल्फ कंटिन्यू कंप्लीटली इंस्टेड ऑफ शोइंग अ डोमिनेंट रिलेशनशिप रिलेशनशिप एज अ रिजल्ट द हेट्रोजाइगस ऑर्गेनिजम शो आ फेनोटाइप दैट इज डिफरेंट फ्राम बोथ होमोजाइगस पेरेंट्स An example of co-dominance is the expression of human blood group AB. The ABO blood group system is controlled by the gene. The, this gene has three alleles, and the allele is produced antigen A in blood, and the phenotype is blood group A. The allele reproduces antigen B in blood, and the phenotype is blood group B. The allele I does not produce any antigen, and the phenotype is blood group O. The alleles I A and I B are dominant over I when the, there is a heterozygous genotype of I A I B is of the two LED produce their respective antigen and neither of their dominants over each other. In complete dominance, it is a situation where the heterozygous gen genotypes both the LEDs expressed are mixture and neither LED is dominant over the other. As a result of this blending, an intermediate phenotype is expressed. In four o'clock plants, the three over colors are the red, pink, and white. There is no specific gene responsible for producing pink flowers. In four o'clock plant, the trait of flowers colored is controlled by two alleles. Um, um, the true breeding plants are R and R R have red and white white flowers respectively. When a homozygous red flower plant R R is crossed with homozygous white flower plant, the heterozygous plants of F1 generation produce pink flowers. pink is a blend of red and white white colors this result clearly indicates that neither of the red flower allele and the white flower allele is dominant however when two heterozygous plants with pink flowers are crossed at two generation shows phenotypes of red pink and white flowers in the ratio 1 2 and 1 variations and evolutions sexual reproduction produces variations in the next generation no no, no two in, individual resulting from separate fertilization are genetically identical The main resources are well known. The genetic recombination produced through crossing over are results in gametes with variations. Mutations, changes in DNA are important sources of variations. Mutations also happens during gametes formation through meiosis. During fertilization, one of the millions of sperm combined with a single egg. The chance involved in this combination also acts as a source of variations. gene flow movement of genes from population to another is also important source of variations variations are also caused by different combination of chromosomes in gametes and in zygotes in the case of humans the possible number of chromosomal combination and fertilization is 70 368 744 177 and 664 in the other words a couple can produce more than 70 trillion genetically different children discontinuous and continuous variation the inheritance variations are of two types discontinuous and continuous variation discontinuous variation show distinct types of um, phenotypes of such variation cannot be measured the individuals of a population either have the distinct phenotypes which can be easily distinguished from each other blood groups are a good example of uh, are the good examples of such variation in a human population an individual has one of the four distinct phenotypes uh, and cannot and cannot have in between this continuous variations are controlled by the alleles of a single gene pair the environment has a little effect on this type of variations in continuous variations the phenotypes show a complete range of measurement from one extreme to the other height weight feet size intelligence etc are examples of continuous variations in every human population the individuals have a range of heights from very small to tall no population can show only one to three distinct heights continuous variations are controlled by many genes and are often affected by environmental factors variation lead to evolution organic evolution biological evolution and the change in the characteristics of a population or species of organism over the course of generation the evolutionary changes are always inheritable the changes are in a individual are not considered as evolution because evolution refers to the population and not to individual organic evolution includes two major processes alternation genetic characteristics is a type of organism over time and creation of new types of organism from a single type the study of evolution determined the ancestry and relationship different uh, relationship among different kinds of organism the anti evolution idea supporting support that all living and living things had been created in their current form a few thousand years ago it is known as the theory of special creation but the scientific work in 18th century led to the idea that living things might change as well charles darwin 1809 to 
1982 proposed the mechanism of organic evolution in 1838. It was called the, the theory of natural selection that Darwin proposed that this theory after his five years view voyage on the HMS His Majesty Ship Beagle. He also published a book on the origin of the species by means of natural selection in 1859. Darwin's theory of evolution was not widely accepted because of lack of sufficient evidence. Modern evolutionary theory began in the later 1920s and early 1930s. Some scientists proved that the theory of natural selection and Mendelian genetics are the same ideas that Darwin has proposed. The mechanism of evolution, natural selection, almost every population contains several variations for the characteristics of its members. In other words, there are morphological and physiological variations in all populations. Natural selection is the process which is better genetic variations become more common in successive generations of a population. Different populations face different environments and they have to adapt to different countries. The central concept of natural selection is the evolutionary fitness of an organism. Fitness means the organism is ability to survive and reproduce. Organisms produce more offspring that can survive and these offspring vary in fitness. These conditions produce struggle for survival among the organisms of population. The organisms favorable the organism with favorable variations are able to reproduce and pass these variations for to their next generation. On the other hand, the rate of the transmission of unfavorable to next generation is low. We can say that the favorable variations are selected for their transmission to next generation while the unfavorable variations are selected against their transmission to get next generation. In this example, we can see mouse population with variations in skill color. Cat preys upon light and medium colored mouse. In first generation, light colored mice is preyed upon by cat. Only medium and dark colored mice can make that their next generation. In next generation population, against, uh, against con again contains light, medium and dark colored mice. Cat preys upon the light and medium colored mice. Now only the dark colored mice makes new generation. If this happens in any generation, we will so see only the dark favorable mouse variation mouse in the population. As a result of natural selection, the LED that gives more fitness of characteristics and the other LEDs become more common with population. So the individuals with favorable variations become a major part of population while the individuals with harmful or unfavorable variations become rarer. In England, the, the months had two variations, dark and white colored um, moths. The moths used to rest on the light colored three tongues on which the elections had grown. In the 19th century, when industries were established in England, the lichens on the uh, three tongues died and the next uh, three tongues the turned dark. Now the wild months uh, radiation had become harmful because of why is month testing on a dark tree trunk the on a dark tree trunk was easily visible to the predative rewards. The natural selection selected dark month moths to reproduce in this way dark colored moths became more common at the last and the white moths disappeared from population. In this case the dark colored variation in moths may be considered an adaptation to environment. Artificial selection. The term artificial selection was expressed in the Persian scientist Abu Rayyan Biruni in the 11th century. Charles Darwin also used this term in work for natural selection. He noted that many domestic animals and plants had special properties that were developed by intentional breeding among individuals with desirable characteristics and discouraging the breeding of individuals with less desirable characteristics. Artificial selection means intentional breeding between two individuals for certain traits or combination of traits. Selective breeding has revolutionized agriculture and livestock producing throughout the world. Animals or plants have desirable characteristics are selected for breeding. In this way, many new generations with desirable characteristics are produced. In artificial selection, the breed animals are known as breeds, while breed plants are known as varieties or cultivars. Numerous breeds of sheep, goat, cow, hen are uh, produced by selection and increase in the production of wood, milk, and etc. Similarly, when plants uh, cultivators uh, have been produced for better quantity and quality of cereals, fruits, and, and uh, vegetables. Inheritance and man and his environment. Every organism has its specific surroundings or environment with, with which it continuously interacts and remains fully adapted. In an organism, environment is a sum of physical and um, abiotic and biological biotic conditions and influence that organism. The study of the interrelationship between organisms and their environment is called the ecology, and their organism is called eco ecology.
commercialism it is a type of symbiosis biosis in which the other partner is benefited while the neither is not benefited nor harmed for example i fight are a small pound that is growing or the other large for space only